let's go over how GitLab can assist us in resolving a vulnerability. GitLab provides many different resources to help us resolve a vulnerability, which includes the line of code where it was detected, security education from various different vendors, solutions to the vulnerability, links to the CVE, and much more. These resources can be seen within the GitLab vulnerability report, as well as within a merge request, providing a single source of truth for both developers and the security team. GitLab now newly provides AI-assisted vulnerability recommendations. These recommendations use large language models, which are powered by Google AI. These models are used alongside your code to provide you insights on the vulnerability, details on how it can be exploited, and how it can be resolved. We'll go over all of these features within this video. Now let's take a look at the vulnerability report. We can access it by going to the Secure tab and clicking on Vulnerability Report. Here, we can sort all the vulnerabilities within the default branch by status, severity, what scanner we're using, as well as if there has been any activity on the vulnerability. I'm gonna go ahead and sort by SAST, or Static Application Security Scanner, which scans my static source code for vulnerable patterns. This is where I'll find my SQL injection under improper neutralization of special elements used in a SQL command, SQL injection. Clicking on it takes us to the vulnerability page view that provides details on the vulnerability that has been detected. It also allows the security team to triage and change the state of the vulnerability. Now let's go over the resources we have at hand in order to assist us in resolving the vulnerability. We can see here that we are provided with the line of code that is suspected to contain a SQL injection vulnerability. This shows us exactly where we need to edit the code in order to resolve this. Next, we can see a couple of identifiers which provide us an insight as to what is causing the vulnerability. Note that the resources and links may vary depending on the scanner used. The first link we see is bandit.b608. This provides us with the rule which was applied to detect the vulnerability. This educates us on the possible patterns which cause a SQL injection. These rules can also be customized or more can be added. The next link we'll look at is CWE89. A CWE is a common weakness enumeration. The CWE is a community developed list of software and hardware weakness types. It serves as a common language, a measuring stick for security tools, and a baseline for weakness identification, mitigation, and prevention efforts. It not only educates you on how the vulnerability can affect your system, but also provides detailed examples on how to exploit it. GitLab also provides security training for vulnerabilities. This further educates developers to become more security aware and learn how to resolve vulnerabilities themselves. Developers can view security training from selected educational providers relevant to the detected vulnerability. These tools not only provide examples but also contain exercises to make learning fun. Let's show GitLab's cool new feature, Explain This Vulnerability. This feature leverages the power of AI, not only to explain this vulnerability, but also to provide additional insights on how to exploit it, as well as how to resolve it. You can see when I clicked Try It Out, a side tab opened up. It explains how this vulnerability occurs and provides a code snippet, such as this right here, showing how an attacker can bypass the where clause and select all the data from the user's table. It shows details that it can be exploited by sending malicious user input into our application. We also have a how to fix the vulnerability section that shows us the possible solutions we can take to resolve this. All this is provided 
along with useful references, such as the SQL Injection Prevention Cheat Sheet and the OWASP SQL Injection page.